This is a video on how to calculate binomial probabilities. Family wants to have six children. Assuming that the probability of a child being a girl is 0.5, find the probability that the family has at least four girls. So that would be greater than or equal to four. Exactly four girls, so that's equal to four. And at most four girls, so that would have to be less than or equal to four. Now, it's clear that the behavior we're observing here is a child being a girl. So a success for a binomial experiment in this case is the child is a girl. So that means that the probability of a success P is equal to 0.5. <coughs> okay, so the Google Sheets input for each of these at least four girls. Well, first off, the number of trials or children being born is six. Probability of a success is 0.5. This stays the same for every single scenario. This never changes. What does vary slightly though would be your lower bound and upper bound that you put into Google Sheets. So if you're interested in at least four girls, this would mean four, five, all the way up through six. You can't have seven because you only have six children. You can never exceed the number of trials. So the lower bound is four, upper bound is six. <clears throat> exactly four girls, the lower and upper bound would be looking at just four. Lower bound, upper bound is exactly the same. At most four girls, that means zero, one, two, three, and even includes four. So the lower bound in this case is zero, and your upper bound would be four. This is all the information you put into Google Sheets. <clears throat> if you're not there already, make sure you're in the Compute tab. The number of trials would be 6, and then the probability of success is 0.5. For my first part, my lower bound was 6 and upper bound was 4. This gave me a probability of 0.3438, rounded to four decimal places. In the second part, where we did exactly 4, my lower bound's 4, and my upper bound's 4. So this is about 0.2344 four, four if you're on the four decimal places. In the last part where we did at most four, the lower bound is zero, upper bound is four. And you would, you would get 0 0.8906. Those are the three answers to this question. So part A, your answer was 0.3438. Part B, your answer was 0.2344. And part C, your answer was 0.8906. So those are the probabilities for each of the parts in this question. <clears throat>